welcome back dear friends i hope you are enjoying watching all of the video from this course so inside this lecture we are going to discuss about compound or you can say group selector how we can just work with group selector inside css so here i'm just going to insert some just insert a div and a class just name this container or something else so select the container Control c dot container we have just a class and you can just apply here so let's just uh, give just a width for this with something like a thousand pixel of width and the height i'm just giving a height also something like maybe 500 pixel so the background again the same mistake the background let's just use here some uh, gray color for this and the margin set to zero auto zero auto to just put this element in center go to your browser and refresh so it's just a simple box here so let's just insert some element inside this the first element is i'm just going to insert a p tag so the text can be this is written inside a p tag very easy so you can just uh, copy this text because just for saving the time we have just another tag this is called maybe heading three or heading two heading three this written inside heading three and we have just one more tag this i tag i'm just going to paste the text inside italic or i tag one more tag we are going to use here maybe this can be spandex you can just use this here it's written inside this spandex now you can save and refresh so we have you you can see we have just four different lines here p tag the herring three tag and we have just uh, inside uh you can see i tag and spandex so let's just use a line break here or a break tag save and refresh now we have just four separate line so this is just very easy now the topic is group selector or you can say compound selector so here we are just discussing about this outside of this container here so here you can just say dot container and after that we have just a p tag inside container just like this you can just put a comma then you have just a heading three then another comma then we have i tag then another comma and the last element is spent and there is no comma open curly brace what i am just going to uh, do here i want to just give a text color for example white text color just for all of this so you can just write here a very simple color white it will be applied on all of this text just without the first line so let's see what's the problem dot container then you have the p tag here so we have the p tag and here i have just selected the p tag and here i think let's just remove the container once save and refresh now you can see this is just working so here in case if you are just using dot container so here you must not use this semicolon or column so here you can just use a comma and here also save and refresh like this so we have just changed the text color just with writing one line of code here we have just selected all the elements here this called just group selector we have just selected elements just uh, group wise so you have just set the color white you can say the font dash family you can change this to any of them maybe sans serif or let's just do this to 40 simple text you can save and refresh now you can see it is changed so after that uh, if you can just uh, we can do this in another way just like this 
for example uh, you can just select the p tag here then this you can say just the text color can be something like white and the font family something you can just duplicate this this one is maybe just heading three this one is i tag and this one is just is tag so we have just write here four line of code so instead of writing four line of code you can just write one line of code here just select all the element and apply the same format to all the element just i think this is the better way so you can just say here something like uh, maybe you can use uh, background for them background something like yellow background or you can say just red background for them save and refresh so you can just define height for all of them height something like 40 px and line height 40 px save and refresh so you can see that you have just done here height line height you can just use margin between all of them uh, something like 20 px of margin save and refresh so i'm just doing all this just to make you understand that anything that you have learned till now inside css you can apply here just here on all of them just we have just selected all element like this uh, for right now we have just four element here like p tag heading three i tag is pen tag. you can select multiple element just put a comma then uh, the next element comma next element comma next element as many element you want you can just select like this so this is the process this is the way that i'm going to show you here so i have just done my task now and uh, this is your time that you should uh, do something like the, the same that i have done here you can add some element like p tag like heading one heading two heading just apply different heading here you can just insert different heading and after inserting different heading or different element you can select them inside uh, css just in one line, like like this if you have a class you can call that with dot then just a comma your element next element comma just like this the same way then you can just apply some css on the elements so this will make you perfect so i hope you have learned about css compound or group selector so in next class i will come back and we will discuss about a new topic this is called order an order list how we can just apply some css style on order and an order list so till next class i want you to practice have a nice time and see you